Howdy, Yammers. Welcome back to Dang It Grandpa. The game where our dang grandpa done locked a bunch of teens in the school again and they're going off doing murders. Dang it, my wrong fuzz are going wild. Dang it, grandpa, you did it again. How does this keep happening with you, grandpa? Dang uh, it. Dang it. You got to work on not locking all the teens in the school with the bear. You know the bear is is evil. What? You know they don't like that bear. I look particularly egg-shaped today. You look egg-shaped today? I don't think you look egg-shaped. I think you look very fall, festive, and beautiful. Thank you. As always. Thank you. Well, you don't always look fall festive. No. But you do always look beautiful. Aw, thanks. It's Bi Visibility Day. Yay! I Happy see Bi Visibility all of you Day. Bi. Today you can all be seen. I see all of you visible buys. The rest of the year, the buys are imperceptible to the human eye, but today on, on Just like vampires <laughs> in the sun. Bisexual visibility day, they the can buys be sparkle seen. sparkle when they hit the sun on this day. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm it's like All Hallows Eve where the you can see the spirits uh, in the cemetery, but today if you go to the cemetery, it's just buys in there. It's all buys in there. Uh, how's everybody doing today? I know there's a lot of bad shit happening yeah. um, everywhere. Um, just, you know, want to come out strong with a big, loud motorcycle. Want to come out strong with a, a Pride Rights and a Black Lives Matter straight out the gate on this Hell one. Yeah. We're going to need some of that energy. Hell um, yeah. Also, go out and vote. For yeah, the love also of God. some go out and vote energy. Go in person if you have the ability to. We cannot let them win for flipping anything. Yes. Please. Please, please God. Lord. We're all so tired. As a country, we're so tired. <sighs> yeah. Uh, thank you, Nathan, for the raid. Thank you. Um, I can run through some of these subs real quick. Yeah, please do. We got subs from. Kuvira and Ursus Ferocious and Hello Turtle. And Arcane Kevin gave some bits and Jist and Bieber. Kermit Cowboy gifted a sub. Excuse me, I got burps. Pathéodore, Creative Boy 19, Scanner 9s, Flint Chemist, Jenny Cakes, Goosey HX5, Sportsmaster Flex, Kyler JJ, The Doctor 10907, and Space Log. Thank you so much for subscribing. Um, also, we should say, before we get into this, in case you weren't here for the first stream of D Dang a Grandpa, yeah. um, you see I got this content warning up here at the top, mature themes and sensitive material. I know this game has a lot of things to warn about for content. I don't know what they specifically are. Draz and uh, whether or not have been spamming a doc in the chat with uh, the specific warnings, um, they are strong. Yeah, it's one of those games where it's Both like- Both the warnings and Draz and whether or not. The game is very silly, but a lot yeah. of like bad things happen to people in the game. And so if you're the type of person that that would bother, um, and I yeah. know they also like, there's like some gender stuff that they're not gonna handle too well. There's a lot of stuff that's a little dated. Gender stuff, trans stuff, unfortunately. Yeah, so it's it's a silly game. It's very stupid. If stupid, silly stuff doesn't bother you, even if it's wrong and bad, then this will be fine. But if it will bother you, then I'm just letting you know out the gate. Um, you won't this be one, offended if you, if you got to step this one out. This one, there's going to be murder in this one. Yeah. We didn't get to any murder in the last one, but yeah. there's definitely going to be murder in this one. Um, so just coming out strong with that. Uh, yeah, it was made in 2010. Uh, so this is games a decade old and 2010. We're not endorsing the thing. We'll no, probably be making listen. hell out of this. <laughs> listen, 2010 was a different time, a worse time in some ways, and a better time in other ways compared to 2020. At least I was ignorant in 2010. At least I was ignorant <laughs> in 2010. Uh, now I know more things. Um, it in is, any case, it is basically. So we already start off on the on the harsh caveat that a. A teddy bear, a robot teddy bear, has trapped a bunch of teens in a building so that they can never leave unless they murder each other. Which is already set the bar pretty low. Yeah. Set it low. But that's what the, all the games are about. That's what all the games I are like about. I like that part of the game. Yes. Because I'm a big, a I love stupid anime bullshit, and b I yes. love horror movies and and premises. Yeah, but I'm just saying like. 
the murder bear ain't gonna be the most uh, socially uh, conscious. No, the murder uh, bear is bad. Character. Dexter the Rabbit said, I was like seven in 2010. So yeah, I was ignorant. <laughs> <laughs> How old was I? Get it together. Being seven is no excuse, Dexter the Rabbit. Um, okay, I'm gonna read some of these other subs real quick and then we'll, we'll get into it. We got subs from Underwater Fun Guy Party and Sea Frog and Lily Shiloh gifted two subs and Rebecca Roney and all's well that tids, tids well? All well that's tidwell. Juggling Octopus, Rebecca Roney gifted five, My Heart Belongs to Dog Meat, Sivad132, Valpal White, Jedi Super Pimp, Katie Wants Cookies, and Foxadillo. Thank you very much for all the subs. I'm ready to play the bad game. Carl, sorry. Uh, Carly Lajar said, I was woke out of the womb. I was woke out of the womb. And that's very funny. Anyway, um, that's, the, that's the warning. That's the warning. Oh, you might want to bring the warning back. Oh, yeah. Why is it always going to go away? Was I thought put on the um, thing? There we go. It's back. Just again, this game, this game's got some stuff. And what? if you got to leave. We understand. We totally get it. Continue. Continue. I'm ready. When we last left off, if for those that missed the first one, a brief recap. Um, we got invited to join a school for the ultimate students. Every student is the Ult ultimate at something, uh, except for us who mm -hmm. won like a raffle or some dumb shit like that. And um, so our character is here with all these ultimate students and then we all got locked in the school and told by an evil bear that it's we all have to live here for the rest of our lives, uh, but you can leave if you murder someone and get away with it. Yeah. So we've set up, we've set the scene. I forgot about the get away with it. Yeah, you got to get away with it. Here's yeah. all most of the students right here to uh, look at. The cardboard cutouts of them, yes. The cardboard cutouts of them. Because um, I know a lot of this game is like a big trial system, too, where you like put people on trial and try to... Oh, I didn't know that. I know yeah. nothing about this game. I know that, you know, I had some chats with the mods about... I mean, warnings, don't you know about truth bullets? Oh, that's right. Julia? Shoot them with a truth bullet. We're going to get to that. But first, let's talk to Sayaka. All right. Okay, so since you're in the dark about all this, let me lay out what's been going on. Everyone's split up to investigate different parts of the building, but you see, Byakuya and Taka each went off on their own, and so did Kyoko. We're gonna press this information. My girl Kyoko! We're about to react on Byakuya. I just popped my elbow doing that. I wanted to try and find some clue as to who's responsible for imprisoning us here. But unfortunately, I made no such discoveries. That's all from me. Really? That's it? Hmm. If I'd uncovered anything, naturally I would have more to say, but I didn't, so I don't. Right, understood. She had more things to say. Shoot her with a question. I gotta know about Taka. Wham. Wham. Taka! I He's spent a some time. Small hand. I spent some. I spent some time with my tiny hand looking around the dormitory, but I couldn't pick anything up. My hand was too small. <laughs> there, I made the discovery of the century. I found that there was exactly one room for each person. Well, yeah, I kind of figured that out before anything else. Yeah. <laughs> oh right, this is the. Uh, I gave her kind of a valley girl. Yeah. Each door already has a nameplate on it, so I guess all the rooms have been assigned already. Huh. And each room key was attached to a chain with the owner's name precision etched onto it. <laughs> you really didn't like precision etched, did you? Precision etched, I thought I read that wrong, but I was like, no, that's precision. You can put a hyphen in between any two words. That's what's dope about hyphens. Fart butt. You can put a hyphen between fart butt. All right. I think we actually did earlier today use the phrase fart butt during a meet yeah, a drop think... meeting. <laughs> yeah, I think that's why. <laughs> my God. Which confirms that the room I was in earlier is in fact my room. I am a brain genius. And plus. And Chihiro and I found out that all the rooms are totally soundproof. Um, your next door neighbor could scream their lungs out and you wouldn't hear a thing. That's a creepy thing to say, Chihiro. I'm Chihiro, I'm totally normal. Well, 
Each room also had a private bathroom, which could also lock. Hmm. But it looked like there were only locks in the bathrooms in the girls' dorms. Dudes don't get any piss privacy. No piss privacy. That's also hyphenated. <laughs> huh? But when I checked my bathroom door before, it definitely seemed like it was locked. That's weird. I should double check that later. Hey, come on. Okay, so they got a bunch of rooms ready for us. They're assuming we're going to be here a while. Quiet down and listen. Well, better to have than have not. At least we don't have to worry about surviving like wild animals. <sighs> that, that can't be all you have to report, can it, Mr. Honor S Student? Got it. <laughs> That's all for my report. Let's move on to whoever's next. <laughs> Okay, we got lots of chatting to do here. Yeah. Well, you said that's all for your report, but I can't even I can't even well, blast what if you. you. What if he needs to be on the screen more? Oh. Oh, I can't blast anyone. Wow. Really. Oh, remember we can get bear coins from clicking. Yeah, I do need to look at things to get up. bear coins. I think we clicked on everything in this room, though. Well, we better check out just in case. Who's just in case? Uh, this isn't Phoenix, right? We don't have names like that. Not draw detectives. I don't think I should leave right now. The atmosphere is unpleasant. <laughs> well, I'm gonna That's go now. That's a good reason to leave. I don't want to deal with an unpleasant atmosphere. I looked up at the clock and I sighed. There are no <laughs> hands on this clock. There are no hands on my clock. Is there anyone else I can talk to? Did you have anything else to say? You didn't have anything else to say. Oh, here oh. we go. We got to learn about Leon, Hero, like, Junko. Oh, sorry. It looks like <laughs> Leon, Hero, Junko, and Chihiro all grouped up together. I got some reactions about that. <laughs> we all went up and down the school, double checking the windows and all the hallways and classes. We wanted to see if we could get any of those metal plates to come off. Maybe the bear just forgot a big, like, security breach <laughs> in his murder building. And what happened was... Hmm. Nothing. Not a damn thing. We couldn't get a single one to budge, even a little bit. What should I do? There wasn't any hope of escape anywhere. The school really has been totally cut off. This is bad. This sucks. Bad, bad, it bad, really bad, bad. sucks. It sucks, 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 sucks. What the hell are we going to do? Hey, come on. God damn, calm down. You're starting to make me nervous. What else you got? Um, you got any more things I can react to? The same goes for Hina, Sakura, and Mondo. Celeste, Toko, and Haifumi were left over, so they joined up. It's Hifumi? Thank you. Please respect you. You say Haifumi. You say Hifumi. One of us is definitely wrong. <laughs> it's me! <laughs> we thought maybe we could find some way to communicate with the outside, so we went looking all over. Sorry. But we didn't find a thing. Sorry. Yo. I went back to the main hall, thinking maybe we could do something about that giant hunk of metal. What? But even with Sakura and what? me both, it wouldn't budge. We hit it with desks and chairs and nothing. It was hard as, like, metal. Wow. Yes, indeed. Yes, well, it is metal. Anyway, if we're going to get out of here, it's not going to be through there. I feel like I could just cry. But no, I have to hold it in. I have to manage my hydration. <laughs> Same. So then. I shall tell you what happened next. It has nothing to do with communicating with the outside world, but it's still worth worrying about. In both the school and dorm areas, there was a set of stairs leading up to another floor. But... But... There were gates there, and we couldn't find any way to open them, so we couldn't check it out. In other words, at this point, we are only able to search the first floor. However... We can is... Bleh. We can further assume that there is potentially something above the second floor as well. And maybe even something above the third floor. A Perhaps. fourth floor, maybe? <laughs> Perhaps we're in a skyscraper. Not to or even some sort consider of a fifth floor. And maybe a sixth. I've decided we're not in a ranch-style house. <laughs> and if that's the case, there is at least a chance it may lead to a way out. Dope. Woo! Um, 
Um, you see. Got that one, got that one, got that one. Oh! I went too, too far. Um, I got too aggro with my clicking. You see. Celeste, Toko, and Hifumi. Reaction! Let's see. If I am being honest, I can't quite say we acted as one. Rather, we did nothing as one. We spent the entire time in the gym. Most unfortunate. Honestly, we are not exactly the types to go running around a school like a gaggle of junior detectives. What the hell's wrong with you? What the hell were you thinking? Just sitting around the gym the whole time. <laughs> well, it's not like any of you invited me along. Nobody said, hey, come with us. Look at how small her hands are. I know, she's got, she's got little grapefruit hands. They're only good for little, squeezing a little grapefruit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna get you with my little grabbers. I blame you for leaving me out. It, it's your fault. What the? If you wanted to go with someone, you should have just said something. <laughs> for, forget it. Like, I want to go anywhere with a dirty slut like you. Damn, All right, Toko. Toko. All right. Okay. Girl. Slut? Your mind is as thin as your body. Wow, okay. Lots of things going on here, Toko. You make me sick to my stomach. Damn, maybe we don't support Toko in this house. Wow, we don't support Toko anymore. I don't even know how to react. How can you say something so awful to someone you've just met? Go Junko. Hey, come on. All right, guys, everybody just calm down, okay? All this stress is bad for your skin, you know? <laughs> yeah. It sounds like you two are so close, now you're fighting like sisters. That's not what it sounds no, like, Sayaka. Sayaka. That's not it. That's not I what I thought. Even Makoto, <laughs> even Makoto gets it. I don't think that's what's going on, Sayaka. Hey, um, so that's what they have to say, huh? Then I guess I'm the only one left. Okay. All right. Let's hear about it. Um. <laughs> uh. I went and had a look around the dining hall. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I found a fridge in the back of the kitchen, and it was overflowing with all kinds of stuff. It seemed That's pretty cool. edible. <laughs> I guess we don't have to worry about food, at least. What? Sure, for now. But even with all that, there are 15 of us. How long can the food last? <laughs> you can just eat some sesame seeds or something. What does that mean? What? what does that mean? Huh? What am I, a parakeet? <laughs> I don't think we have to worry about it. All the food gets restocked automatically each day. How the fuck um, do you know that, Sayaka? At least that's what Monokuma said. Hmm? You saw him? Okay. Yeah, he came out of nowhere while I was checking the fridge, told me that, then disappeared again. That's weird. He was so fast. I can't believe someone could have been moving him around with a remote control. That's... A weaponized toy that can appear out of nowhere. I can't tell if we're supposed to be afraid or not. I think you're supposed well, to probably. be afraid, Jairo. But was everything okay? He didn't try to, like, eat you or something? He's a <laughs> bomb, not a... E eat her? Eating machines. Um, what do you mean by that? I mean, when you say eat, what kind of eating are we talking about? Hifumi? Oh. Come on, man. Hifumi. Hifumi, no. You can't. You can't. You can't, hey, master. What the hell, fatty? Oh You're acting God. like some kind of sleazy drunk dude. <laughs> Leon, okay. Leon, no. Leon. Come on, man. Leon. Come Actually. on, everybody, listen. Not like there's a good kind of drunk dude. Hey. Hey, stop screwing around, all of you. To be fair, though, they do act a lot like teens I knew in 2010. <laughs> yeah. I think it's it's accurate representations of teens in 2010. Are you still asleep or something? We're prisoners here. We could all just die any second. I almost just spilled my water all over Jacob's computer. That would be very bad. <laughs> yeah. She's right. We can't be making stupid jokes right now. We got to do something or... A voice cut through the noise, interrupting Mondo. How dare you interrupt Mondo? He's the only one who hasn't done anything. He's the only one Toxic. I care about at this point, other than Kyoko, because she hasn't flipping said anything. And Sakura, who's very strong and wise. Yes. Uh, 
You're all spending an awful lot of time Shine yelling on, and carrying on. Is I don't it know Monokuma? what kind of voices it can be mm-hmm. yet. Oh, it's Kyoko. Oh, yes. I just used my voice for her, didn't I? Yeah. Do you think you can afford to do so? Have none of you accepted the reality of the situation? Of course I'm her. Yeah. Wear a suit. Kyoko, where the heck have you been? We already started the meeting without you. She didn't say a word. Instead, she just dropped a piece of paper on the table. Huh? What's this? It ap- oh, that's you. It appears to be a map of Hope's Peak Lot Academy. I can't flip and say Hope's Peak. Hope's no, Peak Hope's Academy. Peak. A map? A map? <laughs> what the? Where did you find this? It seems to be a layout of the building we're in. <laughs> it's some kind of drawing showing seems us like the a building. Map. It doesn't matter where I found it. It does matter. You're really freaking us out right now. I mean, out of, all, map? The, of all the things <laughs> yeah, said in this <laughs> in this game, yeah. so far that's the the least threatening. Never mind that. What's it mean? It would seem. <laughs> what do you mean? What's it mean? <laughs> it's a map. It's a map. It means we have rooms. <laughs> Just look at it. The building we're in. <laughs> the building we're in now is laid out in precisely the same way as Hope's Peak Academy. So what you're saying is, this really is Hope's Peak Academy? And this paper is a map? Is this a map? Well, in terms of its construction, yes. But <laughs> it looks like said, it's had- Listen, none of them are the ultimate map reader, okay? <laughs> okay, fair enough. But it looks like it's had a number of strange renovations done to it. <laughs> renovations? Oh, the map? I don't know all the details yet. All I found was details about the first floor. We have theories that there's more floors above it. <laughs> Just wait until you hear this. <laughs> but then, this really is Hope's Peak. Girl, we covered this. We didn't get kidnapped and taken to some other place. So stupid, it's not even possible. This is where the country's future leader is supposed to come and learn. But, 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 if this really is Hope's Peak, where are all the other students? Hey, come on, guys. Let's just stop talking about all this, you know, negative stuff. But aren't you worried? Things don't look good. Yo. Worried? What's there to be worried about? I mean, this was all planned out, right? The people in charge of Hope's Peak put all this together, right? <laughs> Man, if I got stressed every time something like this happened, I'd have ectoplasm shooting out my mouth. Hey, Yasuhiro, can we talk about your life? How many times has something like this happened to you? Good things come to those who wait, right? So we just gotta chill and everything will work itself out. <laughs> What's your I can't wait for a woman to try to solve this problem and you're gonna be like, it magically fixed itself. <laughs> wow. That's crazy, it all it's, worked out. It's crazy, it all worked out and I didn't do anything to solve it. It's amazing what happens in the universe. What, why are you laughing? What's so funny? <laughs> I'm just happy, that is all. It seems splitting up to investigate was a good idea, after all. <sighs> haven't you been, been listening? Looking around was a t- total waste of t- time. We didn't find a way out. We didn't find who's behind this. We still have no idea what's going on. Oh. Huh? Is it not crystal clear? Clear to you what is going on. It's hard to go from a stuttering character to a very like clean speaking one. It is perfectly obvious that we have been imprisoned in some secret location with no way out. Yeah. Yes. Yes. None of us had any response to that. Because it was so obvious. We didn't want to accept that reality, but it was staring us right in the face. (laughs) You didn't have to go and say that. I was trying to not think about it. No way out. We're trapped here. What are we supposed to do? (laughs) It's very simple. If you want to leave, you just have to kill. Stop it! Don't even joke about that. Um, Everyone just calm down, please. We need to stop and think about what to do from here. Seems like... There's got to be something we can do. All we can do is adapt. Adapt to living our lives here from now on. That's... Live here? Are you saying we should just accept it? Do you understand? A lack of adaptability is a lack of survivability. 
Survival is not based on who is the strongest or the smartest. It comes down to who can adapt. Actually, as someone who has come out on top more than once, one. <laughs> One. I have a suggestion. What? Huh? What do you mean? Piece of shit. Piece of shit. Mm. We all understand that we are trapped here, which means we will be spending the night. However, you all remember the rule regarding nighttime, right? Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. Let's see. So regarding this nighttime, I think we need to add a rule of our own. What do you mean? <laughs> Going out at nighttime should be prohibited altogether. The school regulations do not actually tell us not to go out at night. I would like to make it official. Huh? But, but why? Are you okay with this? The way things are now, every time night comes, we will all start to get worried and anxious. We will all be afraid someone might try and kill us. What? Murder? Here? <laughs> In the murder school? In the murder school? If we have to worry about the night at... If, if we have to worry about that night after night for who knows how long, it will wear us down in no time. I see. So you're suggesting we limit our activity at night as a kind of preventative measure. Indeed. However, unlike the other rules, nobody can be forced to comply. We all have to agree to follow it. What can we do? I see what you mean. But I think I could... I could think <laughs> but I think I can agree to that. It's like the little goth Lita said, without something that like, without something like that, we're just gonna self-destruct. <laughs> I don't know what is happening to my brain. You're having a lot of hyphen struggles. I really am. Listen to me. <laughs> On behalf of all the men here, I agree to comply. <laughs> what? Hey, you can't just decide to speak for us. This is fine. So everyone is in agreement? Good. <laughs> then you will excuse me. Huh? Huh? Wait, where are you going? Let's see. It is almost nighttime. I want to take a shower before it arrives. I hope you are so, well. So, goodbye. Later. Peace. Moving with pure elegance, Celeste left the dining hall. Her behavior seemed so natural, I couldn't imagine anyone even trying to stop her. Um... So I guess it's pretty obvious where we go from here. We'll be spending the night, it looks like. Adaptability. Hmm. So, Mr. Chairman, what next? One person already left. Um, well then, what say we call an end to today's meeting? You understand? Like she said, it's almost nighttime anyway. We can reconvene first thing tomorrow morning. Huh? Do we really have to stay the night here? What can we do? We don't have a choice. We can't go for long without some sleep. <sighs> so we just sucks. have to give up. That's all fine and good for t today, but what do we do, do tomorrow? So in the end... <laughs> Our only option is to split up and look around again and let everyone know if we find anything. That sounded like one of those fighting game quotes when you do your super move. Yeah. So in the end... Hmm. Yeah. Pathetic. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's do that. Aww. Then we're done for today? Good. I'm exhausted. With heavy movements, everyone headed off to their private rooms. Um... Makoto, are you ready to call it a day? Why are you asking me? You got your own yeah, room, girl. Yeah, let's go. All right, our super tilted room. Is this really where I'll be staying for the foreseeable future? The walls are horrible. <laughs> oh, that's right. I should check the bathroom one more time before I go to bed. Only the girls' bathroom should have locks on them, right? Wait, what's on the floor? Oh, it was the lint roller still. All right, let's open it up. A rattle rattle. It's no use. It really is locked. Ah! Bzz, bzz, wrong. Not locked. Holy crap. Hmm. Jeez. 
Talk about an overreaction. It's like you just saw a ghost or something. Well, what? Like some kind of robot bear ghost. What are you doing here? What? What? I'm trying to remember how this voice goes. That's about it. Makoto Nayegi. This is super duper majorly bad. So bad it's almost magical. Ultra magical awful awful attack. Uh-huh. In point of fact, I acknowledge that the bathroom in your room has a problem with the door frame. Wait, so the reason it won't open isn't because it's locked? The door just doesn't fit? Hey, um... Didn't you... Didn't you see the notice? Why? Can't you read? The bathroom in the boys' rooms don't have locks. <laughs> I mean, a lock on a boys' bathroom is kind of pointless, don't you think? Why is it pointless? Why? Ba -bum, ba -bum. Well, it's not that pointless, I guess. But I'm no expert on the birds and the bees and all that. Listen what if a boy just wants his privacy? What anyway. if I want piss privacy? What if we want piss privacy? Anyway, there's a little trick to opening this particular ill-fitting door. And that's what I'm here to teach you. I love the Monokuma song. Okay, ready? So you just gotta turn the doorknob, then lift up while you pull. Yes, indeed. Go ahead and give it a try. That sounds like the the downstairs door on my old apartment. You have to like oh, yeah. turn it the right direction and like push in and pull up and yank out. Yeah. Turn the knob and lift up the door while I pull. When I did that, the door opened without a problem. <laughs> See, it opened right up. Isn't that crazy though? Your door is the only one that doesn't fit quite right. You're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But looks like you're not lucky after all. Bye-bye. Anyway, I suddenly don't feel like being here anymore. <laughs> Bye. I'm going to start using that line when I want to leave somewhere. Yeah. If we ever get to leave. Anyway, I suddenly don't feel like being again. here anymore. Hey, wait. Hey, wait. Hey. Damn it. Ding dong, bing bong. You know what that sound means. I love ding dong, bing bong. Time to read some subs. <laughs> We've received the ding dong bing bong alert. Let's go back down to where we were before, which I believe was here. Val Pal White, Jedi Super Pimp, Katie Wants Cookies, Fox Adilo. I actually already said all those. Sylvie was here. Snite Six, Courier 42, Diva Via, Gravity Cupcakes, Planet Fiction, Dowling USA, Morgan Medium, Cyanide Mage, Kate Ducks, Owleth. Bucka 13, take him, take him, just gave out five subs. Mixed Poltergeist, 42nd Doctor, gave out six subs. Thank you. Mank the Destroyer, Robot Witches, Delta Born 101, Creative Boy 19, gave out two subs. Violet 26 Rose and Libby Soros, all subscribed. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone. So oh, much. And Cluster, and Cluster Fox. Fox. Thank you for saying that you're glad I'm feeling better. I am feeling much better. I saw some yays for Olive. And Olive is feeling much better. She's right there. Is she still up there? Yeah, she's still up there. She's up on top of the cat tree. Uh, she's too powerful now. All right. Ding dong, bing bong over. Is this in the bathroom? <clears throat> this is uh -huh. a school announcement. Oh. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. An entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. All I wanted to do was pee. Looks like it's nighttime. We all promised we wouldn't leave our rooms now. All I can do now is try and get some sleep. What's a promise amongst people who definitely don't want to murder each other? <laughs> While still mumbling to myself, I collapsed into bed and just pissed the sheets. <laughs> My eyes closed almost immediately. It's not that I was ready for bed exactly. I was just utterly exhausted. And sometimes sleeping in piss is pretty warm <laughs> and comforting. It was as if I'd spent an entire day staring at a TV watching movies. What? Or like some kind of illusion where I'd been tossed into a made-up fantastical world. Yeah, that feels about right. There's no easy way to just accept the situation we've suddenly been dropped into. So I'll go to sleep about it. So this is how the curtain closed on my first day at Hope's Peak Academy. 
Oh, I've gosh. got high hopes for the future. I love high school. <laughs> I hope I make some friends. Soon enough, I was asleep. Would it be too much of a hope that when I woke up, I'd realize it was all a dream? It's kind of lame as far as endings go, but I'd be fine with that. Actually, that'd be the best. Monokuma Theater. Oh, I love Monokuma Theater. In any normal school, Mr. Monokuma would be a kind teacher, but I think about what's coming up. I'm just so full of pride and joy. Our ceremony earlier today was absolutely splendid. Thank you all very much. Remember that you're all students of Hope's Peak Academy and strive to refine your ideals. I swear to you, I will send you all off into a new tomorrow. My voice acting got really good at that last line. I feel like I really nailed it. <laughs> you, you did. Ding dong, bing bong. If we ever want to replace our sub alert, can we replace it? Replace it, replace it, replace it yes, we can. Okay. I've had our sub alert noise off for like the past <laughs> five streams anyways. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Thank you. Apparently it's morning. But thanks to the total lack of windows, there's no way to know for sure. That would really bother me that I couldn't, I yeah. couldn't see the sunlight. I feel like I was going crazy. Yeah. Anyway, what should I do now? That and being surrounded by murderers. Maybe I should go find Sayaka and we can figure out where to go from here together. She did say she's my assistant now, which was weird. Yeah, it's very weird. We all weird. agreed. Okay, it's decided. I'm going to head to her room. Don't. With a newfound determination, I left my room. It's the boy. It's the boy. I'm gonna laser blast him. Hey. Good morning, Makoto. G good morning. <laughs> yes, morning greetings are quite a delight. Such an energizing way to start the day. You understand? Now then, let's make sure we both do our very best throughout the day. Sh sure. I wonder if he's always like this. I think so. We got a few more subs here. Uh, Onyx Vindicator. Vampire Bites, Uncle Hermie rated us, thank you very much, and Nate, no last name given, gave out five tier one subs, and Slap the Bacon. Slap subscribe. the Bacon. So thank you to everyone for your subs, and your raids, and your gifted subs. Why does it smell so much like food right now? Yeah, it really does. It smells like somebody's cooking like a chicken pot pie out the window. Like right outside our window, yeah, it's weird. There's no one else in the hallways. I guess I'll just knock on Sayaka's door. I'll shoot it with my question mark blast. There's a doorbell next to the door. Guess I should use that. Ding dong. No bing bong? Wow, you didn't do it right. No. Hello? Good morning, Sayaka. Hi, Makoto. Hi, Makoto. Perfect timing. Huh? Um, listen, I have a favor to ask. Blast that favor with a reaction. <laughs> that sounded like a commercial. <laughs> A favor? Um, I was just getting ready to head out. If it's okay, would you like to come with me? Maybe we could talk. Yeah, sure. Where are you headed? Uh, um, oh, um, I've been thinking that there might be something around here that I could use for self-defense. Self-defense? Um, well, I mean, whoever's keeping us here could show up and attack us any time. Never know. It's completely reasonable to want to find something for self-defense yeah. in the murder school. Absolutely. Whoever trapped us here, whoever presented us with rules for murdering each other, whoever put us in this insane position, she's right. We never know when they might attack. Um, so I just want to be able to protect myself no matter what happens. A weapon to protect herself no matter what happens. Well, now that I think about it, that display case in the gym entryway had a bunch of stuff. Maybe. A thing I do want to bring up is I learned at some point that, like, in the Japanese language, conversationally, it's, like, part of Japanese language patterns to repeat back what people say to you in conversation. That explains every episode of Ruini Kenshin. Yeah. Um, it's, like, a way to show that you're listening. Mm. So it's, like, considered respectful to repeat things back. And I think that is the reason why in so much anime and games like this, it's, like... 
There's so much repeating the same thing back and forth. I just thought that was interesting. We do that in French, but it's it's it just sounds a lot more condescending. Ça va? Ça va. Oh, the gym? Okay, let's go. Again? Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, <laughs> I just have amazing intuition. I'm, I'm gonna start thinking you are psychic if you keep saying it. No, this is just the only joke I know. <laughs> Am I really so easy to predict? Anyway, we should head to the gym. For anyone who just hates walking around the school, we've got some good news. You can now teleport using the map section of the handbook menu. It's as simple as opening the map menu and choosing where you want to go. However, you can only teleport to hallways and marked waypoints. Plus, you can't teleport to places you haven't been or places that are blocked off. And depending on certain story moments, there will be times where you won't be able to teleport at all. Finally, try not to teleport inside any walls. There's a chance you could get lost forever. Well then, good luck and have fun. Oh. Do you have anything else to say? Hi, I'm very tall. Yes, yeah, what is it? Why does she seem like a million feet tall? We're going to the gym, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Good. Then let's get moving. Don't find the body in my room. She's like really tall. <laughs> She's a tall queen. Wait, how tall is he? Everyone is way taller than us. We're a short king. We're like dick height to this guy. <laughs> how tall <laughs> are, are you? Like, I don't know, dick height. Like three feet tall. <laughs> this is a horrible little gremlin. Oh, it's Celeste. I'm Dickfoot too. <laughs> Dickfoot too. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> I hope you are well. Well, hello. I hope the two of you are having a nice day. Okay. Good morning, Celeste. <laughs> Exchanging some cups. Of Exchanging such common greetings is somehow strange. Is that okay? Given the circumstances and everything. You know, sometimes you scare me a little. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm off. Hey, um, sh should we get going? Yeah. I want to see if anyone else is around. <laughs> Near, oh, Kifumi. Just appeared. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mr. Naegi, Miss Maizono. W where are the two of you up to? A man and woman growing closer. Hi, Fumi. A time and a place. A hey, time and a place. Wh what are you trying to say? Mm. Like when two people are stuck in a hostage situation and over the course of the story they fall in love. There's really no other way to express it but to say I feel how it. very poetic. Hey, um, Makoto, do you have any idea what he's talking about? Nope, I don't have a clue. All right, later, dude. Let's never talk to Hifumi again. Let's make that pact. How are you talking to me when you're over here the whole time? You screaming? She's like that teleporting Watson. Bah. Where's my map? I do want to just like walk there so I can learn the layout of the place. Oh, I can't use these stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Let me in. Wait, here's all the classrooms. Oh, you're right. This is the bi chamber. Oh, wait. Here we go. Green. Oh, people. Oh, there's people everywhere. What's on the floor? Oh, it's just like it's weird beams of light. Weird beams of light. Ugh. What's up, Toko? Toko. Toko together with those other two. Quite a combination. What's your problem? What do you want? You look like you have something to say. Oh no, I was just thinking that you three make a pretty unique team. <laughs> Let me make this perfectly oh, clear. No, she's about to scream at us again. And say something gross. Me hanging out with, with two people who have muscles where their brains should be is not by choice. You can't have muscles and brains. Everyone knows that. Everyone knows that. You can only choose one. When you're born, they give you a little slider. <laughs> wow, that was super mean. Yesterday, you were complaining about how nobody invited you. That's the reason I asked you to come with us. <laughs> I like this face. Yeah, it's good. Mm. I never asked you to do that. S stop trying to drag me 
further into your meat dimension. <laughs> what? Stop trying to drag me further into your meat dimension. Hey, baby, you want to join me in my meat dimension? <laughs> Dude, I want to go to the meat dimension. Jeez, I can't believe she ran off. You think we should go after her? They reminded me of Persona 4. They talk about the meat dimension. Do they? There's like a, you can go to this like, uh, like beef bowl shop. Okay. And there's, they have like a challenge where you eat the biggest beef bowl. And most of the yeah. time your character fails to do it. And it says you think that it's a portal to the meat dimension every time. So maybe Great. it's a crossover. Maybe it's a crossover. Wait. We shouldn't pressure her any further. Oh yeah, Sakura. Oh, yeah, good point. They're like water and oil anyway. It'd be weird if they did get along. I like this these two. Yeah, this I like is a good team. Too. What's up, Owie? Meat team. Hey Makoto. Well look who's well look who it is. Sup guys. What are you up to? Yeah. We're picking up where we left off yesterday. And I'm really hoping we can find something today. If we do, I'll be sure to let everyone know ASAP. Cool, thank you. It's the chillest conversation I've had with anyone in this whole game. Yeah. We have to find some way out of here, no matter what. Um, and that's why you went with Hina and Toko? However. Well, Hina's the one that invited Toko. I have trouble talking to people directly. Oh, Sakura. Ah, understandable. I feel you. I feel you. It's hard Sakura. sometimes. Sakura rules. It's hard out there sometimes. My tiny little gremlin legs. I imagine Sayaka behind you is just like walking and she's like, oh shit, okay. <laughs> well, she's walking at a normal pace with her five foot long legs. <laughs> yeah. And we're just like. <laughs> she's got Taylor Swift legs. She's got that James Dean daydream look in her eye. <laughs> hey, um, here we go. I might be able to find something here to protect myself with. Yeah, I'm sure I'll find something in the display case I can use. Well, you want me to look around? Like this sword? You want this sword? You want this sword? Is this a sword? Oh no, I think it's just a replica. Yeah, who puts a real sword there? Still, it's pretty impressive. It's completely covered in a gold coating. But, geez, I barely touched it. I got that gold stuff all over my hands. Wow, you're right. Your hands are totally gold. Even just for self-defense, I think it's a little... Well, it's still better than nothing, I guess. Hey, um... You should take it with you. It might help liven up your room a little. A golden sword? What? You think so? <laughs> but I guess you'd be... You... Uh, but I guess you'd better be careful taking it back. You should wrap it in newspaper or something. And just like that, it's been decided. That's not suspicious at all. I didn't see anything I could really use for self-defense. What about like any of those trophies? Hey, don't worry about it. It's not like you need it right away, right? What were you hoping you to find? Know. A gun? She might need it right away. Plus, if anything were to happen, when the time comes, I'll protect you. Don't. <laughs> no, you won't, dude. No, you won't. You little gremlin baby. You'll protect me? <laughs> Thank you for saying that. <laughs> I saw you get punched unconscious by Mondo yesterday <laughs> in one punch. You fell asleep in your own piss. <laughs> and then you fell asleep in your own piss. If I've got you by my side, I guess I don't need a weapon after all. I'll just throw you in front of me <laughs> like a human shield. Sayaka giggled as she said that. <laughs> that mysterious smile. <laughs> I can tell it comes from the heart. It makes me feel at ease. <laughs> When I look at her, I honestly feel like I can do anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can stop looking for a weapon then. But as long as we're here, let's hang out a bit more. Maybe, what if we made out by the trophy case? Just kidding. Just kidding. Unless. What if we smooched the golden sword? What? <laughs> Anything else I need to look at in here? Well, maybe look at other stuff on the trophy case. Is there other stuff you can look at? Maybe. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my god, grab the little dudes on the right. It's a helmet of some sort. Why is something like that on display? Why not? Nice! Why wouldn't it be on display? A plaque. I guess it's to commemorate some kind of championship. Just read it. You don't have to wonder. 
It's a gold statue of Buddha. Why is something like that on display? <laughs> what is suitable to be on display in your mind, Makoto? If it's not practical, I don't want it on my wall. I am curious about these guys. My room back home only has a chair and a TV on the floor. <laughs> Some terracotta clay figures. They don't look the kind of thing you'd put in a high school gym. Okay, that I do agree with. Nice! But there's a coin in them. Oh. There's all kinds of stuff on the shelves up above. Sure is. Nothing over there. Nothing over there. Then we go. Whoops. Whoops. Exit. Le -woo -woo. Thank you for the sub. Also, Signal Bim and Caradotal So and Mas Ma Masu Alexandru, right? Yes. His royal frogginess. Uh, thank you all for your subs. Did you say slap the bacon? I did. Okay. Um, um, hmm. I know I said I wanted to talk to you, but now that we're here, I don't really know what to talk about. Sorry. And I was the one who invited you to come with me, too. Sorry. It's okay. I mean, if there's nothing to talk about, then we can just not talk, right? Huh? Huh? You don't have to force yourself to talk. We can just, I don't know, stare off into space or whatever. But that's a bad first date. <laughs> yeah, but Makoto, that space? sucks. Why would we do that? Oh, but you're probably super bored, just standing around doing nothing. Uh, um, no, it's not that it's boring. It's just, I... I've never really done it before. I don't have a lot of time to just do nothing. You never stared off into space, ever? I do that constantly. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> No, it doesn't. <laughs> You're not a normal high school student like me. You've got tons of stuff to do every day. Um, listen. Hey, um, this is kind of out of nowhere, but... Makoto, do you have a dream? I'll react to that and let you know if I do. Yeah, escaping this flipping building, Sayaka. Well, what about you, Sayaka? I'm turning it around. What's your dream? I'd love to hear. I want to marry you, Makoto. I... My dream is... I've always wanted to be a star, as long as I can remember. Oh, right, she's part of the pop She's the like a K-pop K sensation. She's not K-pop. <laughs> she's not K-pop. She's a J-pop sensation. I grew up without a mother, you know. I didn't know that. What? And my dad worked really late at night. I was always home alone. I was just a kid, you know? So I was really lonely. One night, these two burglars broke into my house, and I set up a bunch of traps to hit them <laughs> if they tried to get me and rob the house. I'm the ultimate murderer. <laughs> but that all changed when I saw a pop star on TV for the first time. His name was Little Giant, and he was really good at volleyball. <laughs> she was so pretty, like a princess. And she could sing and dance. <laughs> but more than anything else, there was her smile. When the... she smiled. Da, da, da. This is the story of a girl. girl. Looking at her smile, I could feel my loneliness melting away. I decided that... I decided that's what I wanted to be someday. I wanted to give that kind of encouragement to others. <laughs> Eventually, that became my dream. That's so amazing, though. You were able to actually fulfill your lifelong dream. Honestly, it's really incredible. Oh, she got pissed. I did whatever it took to reach <laughs> oh, no. that dream. Uh-oh. I mean it. Even some things that weren't so pleasant. I've murdered a man in cold blood. Drowned him in his own bathtub. <laughs> huh? Then I pretended to be him, and I married his wife. And then I killed his wife and got the inheritance. And that's how I became famous. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I honestly believe that as long as you kept chasing your dreams, someday that had to come true. <laughs> I'm just kissing the chat. <laughs> that was a wild story. <laughs> but to do that, you can't take your eyes off your dream, not even for a second. Even if sometimes it's a bad dream, whether you're awake, whether you're asleep, to make your dream into a reality, you have to keep your gaze fixed on it no matter what. What sometimes, about your straights? 
Sometimes I hear the heart um, beating through the floorboards of my bed. Because that's where I buried him. He's there still to this day. In that world, if you lose focus for even a split second, you get left behind. You have to keep on swimming against the current without even taking time to breathe. That's the kind of world my dream lives in. This is heavy. Is it really that tough? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds easy. Is okay, it not but fun have at all? you tried playing Bloodborne like oh, no. with only the first weapon you get? That's pretty hard. Did you try a level no one run of Bloodborne? Bloodborne? Bloodborne. <laughs> Bloodborne. Oh, no. Don't get the wrong idea. It's super fun. Yeah, it seems like it. But the murder was a little hard to stomach. <laughs> but that's exactly what scares me. Huh? Uh, um, I enjoy every single day I wake up and get to do what I do. Everyone in our group is amazing. We're rivals in a way, but they all mean so much to me. We've been performing together since we were young, so they're all like family to me. Without them... I would have given up on my dream a long time ago. They helped me move the bodies. <laughs> to work together and fulfill our dreams together has brought me so much happiness. Cool. But that's why. But that's the thing that scares me the most. So far, none of this is scary. If the world gets tired of us, then what happens? What happens to us? You start Don't a YouTube do this. channel. Don't do. <laughs> it's cool. But what happens Twitch when stream. people aren't interested in your YouTube channel anymore, Jacob? You just become a Twitch streamer. What do you streamer? do then? It's fine. Then the dream dies. Those wonderful days come to an end, and everybody goes their separate ways. Sayaka, have you ever heard of Twitch.tv? <laughs> She's trembling. She must be terrified. She works so hard, sacrificed so much to get where she is. She must be terrified of losing it. You see. So that's the reason I decided to come to Hope's Peak. Huh? What do you mean? Uh, um. Well, they say if you graduate from here, success is basically guaranteed. Which means I could keep on performing with my best friends forever and ever. At least, that's what I thought. This is the story of a girl who cried a river and the whole world. I really did believe that, but now we're trapped here. No way out. They're probably waiting for me. While I'm in here, the world out there is forgetting about me. Shit, we've been here for one day. <laughs> minute by minute, we're all disappearing. Makoto, I need your approval. What do you think <laughs> about my hair? Please, tell me I'm a good singer. Watch my dance. <laughs> Watch me dance. But still. Sayaka? What? I can't afford to be stuck in here. I need people's approval. I need strangers' approval constantly. Tell me I'm funny. Damn, same though. That was the first time I heard her cry out from deep within herself. She sounds desperate. But I can understand why she'd feel that way. Trapped here this way, the dream she put so much effort into is on the verge of disappearing forever. And that isn't something that can be fixed with a few kind words. The weight she's carrying, I can't even imagine it. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to complain. Are you sure? Because you got that whole thing like scripted out. <laughs> uh, um. I kind of killed the mood, didn't I? No, not at all. Well, yeah. time to commit a real yeah. murder. That'll liven the mood up. Sorry. I'm really sorry. Um, Sayaka? Actually, are you hungry? Before we head back, why don't we go to the dining hall and get some food? Get some grub. I had a friend like this. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> to be fair, when I get really hungry, I often feel the same way she feels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get really <laughs> sad. And I'm like, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. What time is it? Oh, no. We're an hour late for lunch. <laughs> Is killing the mood count as murder. <laughs> so, okay. You want me to make us something to eat? I might not look like it, but I'm a pretty good cook. Mm. Wow, really? What's your specialty? Chili oil. That's not a food. You mean the condiment? <laughs> Just kidding. I'm psychic. Just Humans. kidding. She bursts out laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Her earlier mood disappeared, replaced by the bright smile I'd quickly grown used to. But how did it happen so fast? It was almost like a mask, like some kind of neutral expression. Yeah, she has 
problems, dude. Anyway, we head to the dining hall to get something to eat. <laughs> People are saying scallions. <laughs> Before returning to our rooms. Who's going to be dead? God, I hope it's Kifumi. Oh, our sword is there. That's oh, cool. nice. Uh, the only thing in my room is a fake sword covered in gold. <laughs> okay. It'd be that way sometimes. Um, I think I'm going to use this opportunity to run ads. This is like every high school boy's room I knew. Yeah, I definitely had in my room a fake sword covered in gold. They had a chair, a bed, a TV, and a sword. I'm going to run I'm ads. I'm running ads. Oh. Three minutes of ads starting right now. Everyone... Do what you need to do that takes three minutes and then we'll be back. Here goes. Hydrate yourself. Hydrate yourselves. Hydrate yourselves. What's also, up, everyone? Uh, make sure you're registered to vote and please go vote. And also look at this cat. Look at this cat. Do you want me to bring her over? Every time I do, I love the cat. No, look how sleeping she is. She's hey, so sleeping. She's, sleeping. she's pretty sleeping. Her ear moved ever so slightly. Love her little beans are just hanging off the edge there. She got dangling beans. Where's she got Joy? Dangling beans. I don't know. Joy. Do you think she's in the bedroom? Olive update. She's been doing crazy good. Yeah. She's been so energetic and so in such good spirits. She's got big bright eyes. Joy! Her tail's always straight up in the air. She's jumping around all over the dang place. She's become a beast, a little monster, and we love her. Thank you for the compliments on my sweater. It's from Uniqlo. I'm going to find Joy. Bring Joy. She won't care if we wake her up. Hi, everyone. I, very seriously, let's take this moment to say, please, please, if you are able to, like physically healthy and able to, seriously, please go vote. Like, really, please. It's very important. Don't say that it's fine that you are skipping because there will be a, a million other people. You only think there's a million other people because you're in, a, like, you're in a little circle, a little bubble. Everyone go if you can. If you can't, register to do an absentee ballot. I know in New York you can do a COVID ballot. Um, you can find the information... Uh, if you Google your state and your voter registration, um, if you Google that, you should be able to look up your name in some database. Um, if you are able to vote for the next president of the United States, please do. Please. I'm really begging you. Oh! There she is! Joy! What's up, Joy? Welcome to the stream, Joy. Joy, you seem out of it right now. Look at this cat! Look at this cat! Every time I do, it makes me shat. What? I've got bowel issues. Oh. I have cat-triggered... Oh yeah, vote for everything. Vote for everything, not just the president. Vote for this cat. Vote for joy. Vote for joy for any any office, every office. Don't do that vote for someone who can actually use your votes. Well, maybe joy is what will bring the nation together. God, I wish. Now this is something you can agree on no matter which side of the aisle you're on. Is that Joy rules? Is that Joy is very cute. Yeah. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's so disoriented right now. Yeah, she is. Was she like dead asleep? Where was she? Was she? Asleep on the cat mat. Oh. On the other side of the bed. Okay. Bye, Joy. I'm sorry, Joy. Joy, I'm sorry. She's going. Joy, I'm sorry. She's going back to the cat mat. We uh, have just so many beds around this apartment for them. It's like 
we have things that I want to use. Like, we have a shelf over there that I really want to use for stuff because we have very little storage here. It has a cat bed on it. it. has a cat bed on it, and we haven't moved it because the cats like that spot so much. Except one of them fell out of that bed. Anywhere the cats, like, and they haven't been in there for too long, we're like, we need to put a bed there. Yeah. Soon it will be our whole apartment. It will yep. be cat beds only. Yep. I think we have more cat beds than the Brooklyn Cat Cafe did. Yeah. <sighs> yes, it's rough. Yeah. Now Joy's just eating. Yeah, you're munching. The ad break is over. I no longer have to do this. Um, can you link to the woman that made the cat bed? I put it in one of my tweets. Go I look think at it was Julia's tweets. The one where Olive is sticking her little paw out the side. There's a I responded to it with a link to the to the cat bed. Um Did oh, I yeah. figure out what I caught for sick? It was just like a cold. It was a uh, stress. Yeah. Sometimes I just get that like run down sore throat, slightly sinusy, just can't do anything but lay on the couch all day type of cold. That's how I was feeling this morning when we woke up. Um, again, if you just got here, maybe you missed the beginning of the stream. The mods have been putting in trigger warnings in a doc, in the chat. Um, this game gets nasty and rude. And most importantly, the only thing in my room is a fake sword covered in gold. Yes. So if you need to sit this one out, please do. Let's get back to the guy. Let's get back to it. All it does is make me feel that much more uncomfortable. <laughs> Fair. Anyway, there's still plenty of time left in the day. Did I ever tell you that my dad bought me two swords because I did really well in my first year of high school? <laughs> so you were going to learn the twin sword style. Yeah. Like like Saito from Maroni Kenshin. Yeah. Remember Saito from Maroni Kenshin? Mm -hmm. He was the Vegeta of Maroni Kenshin. <laughs> Literally. Saito. Oh, yeah. He's the guy that looked like Vegeta and was a bad guy and then became a good guy. Oh, yeah. yeah and yeah. used the two sword style. Yeah. Anyway, I don't really feel like just sitting here. Maybe I'll take a look around. You're about to have your first experience with free time. Would you like to hear more? Yeah. Absolutely. Tell me about free time. As you live out your school life here, you will be given free time at certain points. During your free time, you can spend time with your fellow classmates to deepen your friendships. You can also give them presents, which can potentially give them an even better impression of you. You can get these presents from the Mono Mono machine in the school store. Come by early and often. The only friendship I want to deepen is uh, the our Sakura. Sakura. Uh, maybe Kyoko, just because it seems like she mm -hmm, got her shit mm -hmm. together. Aoi. Aoi, and, yeah. And Mondo. And Mondo. Those are the only characters I care about at this present time. At certain points, you'll witness intimate events. And new info will be added to each person's report card. These events can also open up new skills, which will prove useful as everything plays out. We strongly encourage you to develop and deepen as many friendships as you can. I only care about four people. It's fine. Also keep in mind that when you talk with a classmate, time will pass. When you're finished, you will automatically return to your room. After a certain amount of time passes, your free time will come to an end and the story will progress. Mm. If you'd prefer not to engage in free time, you can always choose to simply go to sleep to skip it. We wouldn't recommend this approach, but if you absolutely must press forward with the story, then anyway, why don't you try it out by spending some time with Miss Sayaka Maizono? I just did. I don't want to, dog. She's a little creepy. She's the ideal partner to begin with, don't you think? I don't. No. I don't. Free time alert. Sayaka is a weirdo. Uh, I want to go to the Mono 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 Mart. Mark, Mark. Who's that? Oh, there's people just, ah! I can't talk to them because it will make time pass. Ugh. I want to go to the store. Oh, also, um. Is this the store? Pop Sensation Girl. Oh, the model. The model I also like. Junko? Yeah. I like Junko. I'm not talking to you. I'm just looking around. Oh, my God. You know one of those washing machines going to have a bear corn. There's some magazines laying around. Probably to kill time while you're waiting for your laundry. Yeah. A washing machine. Not surprising. This is a laundry room. I will look at each one. 
to ensure that there's no bear claw. Oh. Yeah! I will continue looking at each one. There could be more bear coins. I will not talk to Chihiro. Oh! Yeah! I will continue looking at every washing machine to search for more bear coins. All right. Gotta look uh, at the camera. You can look at that, that one piece. The bathing suit right there. I can look it's at the bathing suit. Aoi's. Oh, I can. Owies. There's a swimsuit. I wonder whose it is. Probably the swimmer. Bear coin. Dumbass. Look at this. Vending machine. Man, okay, that's they it. even got Bye. vending machines in these prison murder buildings. The store's in the other section of the building. Well then, good day. We're leaving. I gotta go to the store. Is it over here? That's, that's Monokuma. Oh, it's the one with the yen, huh? Oh yeah, it's the one with the yen. Store. Well, that's a store on it's it. It's labeled store. Gotta find presents for Sakura. What the heck? Catch Pond TV. Ugh. You got a nice cup down there. Ah! Nice! Yes. Yes, gamers. A vending machine. I guess this must be the school store then. I remember my high school I was a school vending machine. Give it a shot, yes. Let's go. Does Love gotcha coins. Who cares? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, yes, let's go. Oh. There we there go. You go. One coin, let's go. What do we got? Is that gotcha chips? Item. Let's keep going. Oh my god. What if you need these coins for something? What do I need them for this? Got an item. I got a cat hairpin. Lucky. Lucky. Oh, I got another one for free. Got an item. Nice. It's something. It's some stuff. Do I need these coins for anyone? anything else, chat? Never use more than one coin, said someone in the chat. Oh. I use two coins. I stop. Mm -hmm. I stop using coins. Ba, 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 da, da, da. Only for this. I'll use more coins later. Stop while you're ahead. Because I guess you don't want repeat items. Right? I guess so, yeah. So can I like look in my in inventory, my presents? Mm -hmm. Yeah, only use one coin at a time. Oh, at a single time. Gotcha. Potato chips. So it doesn't like give me any hints as to who might like this stuff. Properly or placed, maybe it, it does. Can make a girl positively sparkle. What about the potato chips? Beware it's dangerously high calorie count. Well, we have to give it to someone who does sports. Maybe like a swimmer. Or he Hifumi. Seems like a chip lover. Yeah. I got something else. Oh. Oblat! A thin edible film made from starch. It's commonly used as a candy wrapper, but also helps cover up the taste of bitter medicine. Oh. Who takes medicine? Mm. Who takes meds? Who takes mm. medicine? Anyways. Just gonna... Was it the poet or whatever? Oh! Don't talk to I'm him. Don't to waste Fiyakuya, this day on him. Me? Where's Sakura? You think she's in the gym? Let's go find Sakura. She's not in the gym. Maybe she's got a bite to eat. Maybe she's in the dining hall. 
Gotta go find Sakura. Where's my strong friend? Where's my powerful friend? Oh god. Who is like cooking food all night long? I still I smell know, yeah. it. There was someone to your right. They don't show there. up on the map. Oh, it's, uh, what's her it's Junko. I'm not against talking to Junko. Celeste. You're not anyone I care about. You ain't it, Celeste. Where's our strong friend? Where's our strong friend? We will find her. Sakura. What do you mean you don't have anything to talk to her about right now? Ring the doorbell. Hang out with Sakura. Junko looks like she'll like the hair clip. That does seem likely. Should we try to give Junko the hair clip that we got? Yeah. Since we have the item. Sorry, I was reading a tip. Press pause, map, then you see. Oh. All right. Wow. Oh, there she was. She's, She's in, in the, the kitchen. kitchen. What is the X75 pause, the zoom? Okay. Let's, can I go there? Can you There's take like me a there? back arrow. Can you press escape? I want to take you there. Okay. I meant like, I thought I could warp there. Oh, Mr. Gordon. Just have subscribed yeah, and gotta says, go, gotta go in the kitchen. I finally got a job. Thanks for the fun, lovelies. Thank <laughs> you for the sub. Congrats on the job. Also, Urine Mist gave out three tier one subs. An origami elephant subscribed. Thank you. They're on a kitchen date. Hell yeah. All right. Sakura. We gotta talk to our strong friend. What's up, girl? How do we get out of here? There's gotta be an exit somewhere. Oh. Oh. I think they really want me to talk to what's her name. I don't want to talk to what's her name, though. Um. Hey, did you find a way out of here? Oh. I didn't find a thing. Nothing. Zippo, zilch. Lost all my motivation. Is it good to have all this on the ground? Yeah, shouldn't we have this somewhere? Colorful vegetables have been stacked in a huge pile. Nice! There's money in it. What else? Camera, knives. Apparently you have to for the tutorial, you're right. Dookie! So let's talk to everyone first and then yeah. we'll talk to her. It seems like everyone's just like, oh, did you find a way out? Sayaka told us not to talk to you right now. She wants to talk to you first. <laughs> Yo, we got some hams in here. Deli style display case. There's all kinds of food and stuff lined up inside. We got some hams in here. We got some hams. I put my hams up. I'm starving for information. <laughs> Leave the kitchen. What a nerd. Steamed hams. Right, I can talk to Celeste then. All right, Gothica. <laughs> Everyone's working hard trying to find the exit, are they not? <laughs> Good luck with that. I have no interest in such menial labor. Cool. It seems like everyone's just saying bullshit. Junko. Getting stuck in here is like totally disgusting. <sighs> I want to get out of here. Yeah, everyone's just saying bullshit. We'll go talk to Sayaka and get these done with. You everyone's... don't want to talk to my girl Kyoko. Well, she's probably going to be like, if only there was a way to get out of here. And that's it. Why? Why is Hope's Peak Academy like this? Very bizarre. Wow, well, that was an incredible piece of dialogue. Truly invigorating. Ding dong, bing bong. Um, listen. <laughs> you know, Makoto, I'm so anxious. I really am afraid. Hmm, should I talk to Sayaka for a while? I guess. I guess, man. Um, are you going to try and cheer me up? 
Sorry. Sorry for making you take time out of your day like this. I did my best to comfort Sayaka. Sayaka and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Sayaka a present? No. Not really. Um, um, Makoto, you tried to cheer <laughs> me up and you didn't give me a present. Were you thinking about giving me a present just now and you didn't do it? I see you have some things in your pocket and you didn't give them to me. Do you think you can make time for the two of us to talk? We just spent all the flipping day together. What's wrong? Why are you being so formal? I... Well, it's just... I guess that was kind of formal, but... It's just because I know I can count on you. Huh? <laughs> Having you by my side really makes me feel a lot better. <laughs> um, if you weren't here with me, I just don't know what I'd do. I'd be lost. I know we were only vaguely in the same school, like when we were in kindergarten or whatever, <laughs> but I find that very comforting. For We've some known reason. each other for like six hours. But that's why. I hate that we had to meet again under such awful circumstances, or awful conditions, but... I'm relieved you're here with me. Sayaka. Standing here face to face and hearing her say that. It was really weird. It's nice, but kind of embarrassing at the same time. It's kind of cringe. It's kind of cringe. I know how you feel, but you just posted cringe. <laughs> <sighs> really? <laughs> Thank you for the flattery. That smile. Has anybody seen Mariah Nikki? Also this girl's giving me you know vibe. Diaries. Yeah. In English? Yes. That mysterious smile that softens my heart. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I really wasn't flattering her. That smile saved me. Uh -huh. But it's kind of strange, you know? Because maybe... You're gonna be the one who saves me. They're singing like a duet of Wonderwall. After all. I never thought I'd get the chance to really talk to you like this. All through middle school, you never talked to me. In fact, you never even looked at me, but I was always looking at you. It's I always wanted to be your it's assistant. Because you were like a celebrity. I couldn't just go around staring at you. I've always wanted to be your Wait, assistant. How do you know I never looked at you? Hey, um... Because I looked at you all the time. Huh? Uh? Uh? always looking for an opportunity to talk to you but I just didn't because that's too much of a normal thing to it do. It seems like we were doing like nothing. Yeah. So like the opportunity was probably there constantly. I love anime trope of boy was just out living his life but girl found that fucking fantastic. <laughs> I want a piece of that. Want a piece of that reclusive look, normie a, boy look action. Look at this normie boy who doesn't give a shit about anything or anyone. He's so average. So hot. You wanted to talk to me? But since I always had so many people around me, we ended up graduating without saying a word. That was one of my biggest regrets. But why me? Um, do you remember during our first year in junior high, that huge bird wandered into the <laughs> school pond? Do you remember that giant fucking bird? Actually, now that I think about it, I do remember that giant fucking bird. Hmm. It was like out of a fairy tale. The turtle wants... Okay, I wasn't reading that wrong. The turtle wants every million years. That bird wants every thousand. A big-ass fucking bird wandered onto the school pond during our first year of junior high. We've mentioned the this big bird three was times, massive. but not what he did. I think it might have been probably a crane, right? Crane or heron? Razor crane? What's bigger, a crane or a heron? Crane? A giant sparrow? State of Arizona said, I need a heron! I'm holding out for a heron till the end of the night! Alright, I'm doing crane. It was a crane! It just walked right into the pond. Okay. That's right! That's what it was! It was so big, the teacher had no idea what to do. Her hands are kind of jacked up. We could have just left it <laughs> live and let die, but whatever. Yeah, her hands are wild. This game's artist is like really good, but did not practice the hands. You know, sometimes you just got, you got like so many things to draw and you're just like, close enough. 
but you let it into the forest behind the school. You helped it find its way out. Well, only because I was already in charge of taking care of the animals at the school. They made me do it. Boys who help birds really you make see. me hot. I should have said thank you then, but is it okay if I do it now? Girls think I'm way too hard about this bird. Thank me. I... I'm that crane, you see. I've come to return the favor. Here, let me make you a cloak. <laughs> Just kidding. That's a weird thing to kid about, because it doesn't make any sense. Y yeah, I kind of figured. But Honestly, though, I was so impressed. That's why I always wanted to talk to you, even just once. Uh, um. I never imagined this would, this would be how I got my chance. Yeah, if we met again uh -huh. at a train station somewhere downtown, that'd make for a nice dramatic reunion. Uh -huh. But instead, it's this weird school. I... Maybe, but still. I'm sure you'll help me find my way out, just like that crane. You'll save me. You see? It's just intuition, I know. But I still believe it. I'm going to save her? Maybe you're going to be the one that saves me? <laughs> I'll do my best, I promise that. I'll make sure it's more than just intuition. My god. If there's anything I can do, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I believe in you. Besides, my intuition always turns out to be right. Like I said, Because I'm, I'm psychic. psychic. Oh my god. <laughs> you kidding, you kidding. can't do this every time we talk. I only have one joke in my repertoire and I got to laugh once. So she I'm just going to keep saying loud. it in every conversation, hoping to get that laugh again. She laughed out loud as she said it. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks it's hysterical. <laughs> <laughs> the closer we get, the stronger that smile of hers makes me. <laughs> I was glad to feel that I'm way. Psychic. <laughs> Sayako's report card has been updated based on your experience <laughs> Why? with her. I'll tell you my grades. You've just unlocked the skill, Melodious Voice. Give yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. Good job. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Ding dong, bing bong. Ding dong, bing bong. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. God, we talked for like eight hours about a big ass bird. Hey, Makoto, I know we hung out for six hours, but do you mind if we nighttime. hang out for another two? I have more to say about this bird. I'm a bird. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Ding dong, bing bong. Today's already come to an end. And it sucked. But I swear, tomorrow I'm going to talk to someone else. <laughs> I swear. Literally anyone else. <laughs> As my eyelids began to slide closed. The conversation I'd had with Sayaka that morning began to replay. What a nightmare. Lord. In a way, it's almost frustrating. Even if I understand where her desperation is coming from, I can't share in it. The pressure she's under is way different from anything a normal high schooler like me goes through. She didn't just stumble into the school yeah, the way I did. Yeah, she's under psychic pressure. So I can't say I feel the things the way she does. Compared to her. No, compared to everyone else here. There's no doubt I just don't match up. I guess that might explain my own frustration. I'm sure you'll figure out what you're the ultimate of, Makoto. Don't you worry about it. The ultimate at not being dead. Ahem. So, I'm sure you've noticed the killing game has begun, but there's still room for a little laughter. It seems our newest students, already so filled with despair, still have some hope for, of escape. <laughs> So when will it begin? When will their hope begin to die? Is it time yet? Is it time? Heart pounding excitement! Heart pounding excitement! Is it, is it time yet? Ding dong, bing dong. Ding dong. Good morning, everyone! 
It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Rise and shine, gamers. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Morning has come. Morning has broken. What should I do today? Not to Free talk time. to Sayaka. Let's get the heck out of this All room. Right, we're talking to Sakura. Wait, can I go into the bathroom? I know the secrets now. Yeah, what? I want you yeah, to open it. it. Yeah, do it. I want to see what's in there. Maybe there's coins. Maybe there's coins. I'm going to go back to the store and use up all my coins. What are you doing here, Leon? I don't want to talk to Leon. Leon's boring. Going to buy gifts. Buy some gifts. Store. What was the noise that girl made in Taskmaster? <laughs> you know what it is. We already used it. Give it a shot. This guy hasn't pooped in three days, says Liz. Got an item. That's a phone. That's like a fax machine. Another coin. What is that? Got an item. That it's a hair? hairball. More. What is what? Tough lady. It's like a dookie face. Camera. A point and shoot camera. A skull. Love getting a skull. Heck yeah. A passport? I was gonna say roll book, but I think you're right. That shouldn't be in there. Noodles. Instant noodles. Donuts. That's it. That's all I can do. Time to use our hoverboard to get back. Let's see where everyone is. There's Owie and Chihiro. There's, what's his name? Taka, Takamaka, Obaka. Byakuya and Celeste. Kifumi. Oh, there's Mondo. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Where's Sakura? Oh, there she there is. There she is. She's in the dormitory first floor. The hallway. Let's go get her. We're coming to talk to you. Strong lady. Please. Strong lady. Wait. I thought she was like right here. Uh, well, it's just said this general section. So she's in the hallway. So it could be she's standing in front of a room. I or... thought she was like right there. No, I'm realizing oh, that I the... I understand. Yeah, it's just like a symbol. I understand. It's all becoming clear to me now. So coming back. We're so not talking to no. you. I'll tell you that. Don't much. even look at her. Straight away. I'm saying. Just kidding. Uh... <laughs> Yo, what the? Oh, there, there she, she is. is. Mm. Hello. Did you need something? Yeah, let's talk to Sakura for a while. Hell yeah, spend time with Sakura. So then. I just got done exercising. Now would be a good time for a break. Would you like to get something to drink and talk for a bit? Hell yeah. Yeah, let's go. Strong lady. Sakura and I sat down for tea in a calm, relaxing conversation. <laughs> Sakura and I grew a little closer today. Hell yeah. I don't think I have a present for her. That makes sense. Does it matter what you give? Apparently, yes. Apparently, there's like things that or character specific. Do you want me to look up? I'm gonna look it up right now. 
Dungon Rampa. Gifts. Is that her rules? Gift guide. She's goals. Yes, <laughs> the like presents. Skull. The presents. Can you like control F Sakura? She might like the oh, hair clip. Like things that they love and things that they like. Yeah. Can you search by a name? A guide for each character's liked items and choices. Here we go. Here we go. Now I can just find her in this list. Happy Bi Visibility Day as well, yet again. Yeah, it looks like um, we don't have, we any, don't of have any, any of her stuff. Dang. She likes things like the War God Talisman. Oh. That's fair. And the secret of Omoplata. Great. We don't have that. We don't have that. So no gifts for you right now. Mm. My post-training break is the most relaxing time of my day. I just read that in your stead. Sorry. I was reading our message from our neighbor. The sensation of your muscles cooling down after heating up during a workout is the only true reward. No matter how many times I experience it, I never get tired of it. Do you exercise every morning, Sakura? Mm. Unless there are errands that I absolutely can't get out of, yes, I always do my training. People are telling me never to look up anything about the game, but it's literally just a list of the characters and what gifts they like. Yeah. So I don't think it's going to have any big spoilers in it. I would rather give them gifts they like and not have to guess. Because I don't think guessing is fun. If I don't, I feel restless for the rest of the day. But I'm amazed. Well, oh, that's you. But I'm amazed you can do it every single day. Doesn't it get tough? I can't say I, I've ever needed it as tough. What? Try again. I can't say I've ever seen it as tough. It's also so I can get stronger after all. And I have to keep on getting stronger because my destiny is to fight. Oh, that's a sad destiny. Your destiny is to fight? Mm. From the day I was born, I've been fighting. Heaven sent me to live as a champion. That's fucking cool. What a cool thing to say! That's one heck of a legend. Mm. My father was my master, and my every waking moment was spent with him learning to fight. As a child, I sparred with boxing champions and hit the mat with wrestling gold medalists. I was no match for them when I first began, of course. But before long, they were no match for me. You mean you actually started beating people like that? Mm. I'd say my specialty is solid stand-up that transitions into grappling a strong ground game. So your specialty is strong stand-up and strong ground game? My, my specialty <laughs> is comedy and a strong ground game. Essentially, it's a complete approach. Anything else just wouldn't make sense. You can only become the best by reaching the top of each discipline and fusing them all together. Stand up fighting, grappling, and a strong ground game. That could only be. Jiu Jitsu? Mixed, mixed martial, martial arts, arts, right? Yeah. That's exactly what she's talking about. You're basically a mixed martial arts fighter, right? Of course. That's right. It's the most effective real world fighting style, which is why I chose it. I don't want to just be the best in competitions, I want to be the strongest human on earth. Let's Damn, go. Sakura! I wouldn't bet against you, that's for sure. But aren't you already the best? What? No, not yet. There's still someone I have to surpass. Really? Huh. Until I can beat him, I'll never become the strongest. You mean there's someone out there stronger than you? Maybe I'll tell you about it another time, if the opportunity presents itself. Every so often I see him. Every time I passed by an invisible barrier that's very shiny. It looks just like me. <laughs> Sakura didn't make a sound as she left. I honestly can't believe there's someone out there stronger than Sakura. It's Sakura. Even if they're real, can they really be human? Sakura's seeing a reflection of herself in the dang mirror. Sakura's report card has been updated based on your experience. Your maximum number of skill points has increased. Yeah! Look at you go. Look at you go! I headed back to my room for a little while.
can you spend your skill points? There's still lots of time left in the day. So we can talk to someone else. I don't know about my skill points. Let's check the report card. Check my own report card. It says he's 5'3". Yeah, it's dick foot two. Dick foot two. Ooh. Maybe skill points mean something else in this game. Should we talk with, with uh, Junko? We talk with Junko, considering we actually have a present for her, so that yeah. would make sense. I would say Junko or or what's her face? Where Junko? Junko in laundry room. Laundry room. Let's go. Hey Junko. Makoto slacking off again, huh? Hmm, should I hang out with Junko for a while? Let's do it! Hmm. Yeah, I'm bored too. Yeah. Let's chill for a while. I have a guide up just to be sure. I spent some time with Junko. Junko and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Junko a present? Uh, hold on. I can find it fast. Kitty hairpin. Yeah, that's what I have. She likes that. Okay, well that's good, right? She likes that. Then I'm gonna give it to her. Prismatic hardtack. Flotation donut. Kitten hair clip. Give. What more important? Admit it, Makoto. You didn't just give me this, just to be nice, did you? <laughs> well, whatever. Works for me. Seeing Junko so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Listen, I just want to make... Uh -huh. <laughs> I lost the accent. Listen, I just want to make this clear right up front. Don't get the wrong idea about any of this, okay? Huh? What do you mean? Yeah. I mean, I hope you're not expecting anything from me. I just want to give you a haircut. Gotta keep my virtue safe, you know? Huh? Wait, you mean... No, I'm not expecting anything like that. Come on. I figured. You're not that kind of guy, huh? Looking at you, I get a total Omega male vibe. Okay. Damn. All right. But still, they say even the tamest guy can turn into a wild animal. So I figured I'd say it anyway. I was like being chill, I and mean, then you call me an Omega male. <laughs> a wild animal. Don't ask me why, but I seem to attract guys like that. It's probably because you call all other guys Omega males. Yeah. What the? They call me up super late at night, all like, hey, let's hang out. And I don't know what that means. Let's hang. It sounds so simple. But why super late at night? <laughs> why does Junko seem annoyed at it? Hanger, hangout, hang gliding. What? Hangout. Oh, you just meant hanging out. Mm -hmm. Huh? Did you just come to a decision or something? Oh, uh, no, forget it. For real. Anyway, so we all get together, but the whole group's full of dumbasses. Keeping creepos like that away is a full-time job, you know? Keeping alpha chads like that away is a full-time <laughs> job. Yeah, it must be tough. I mean, you're a model and all, so you must really be popular. Mm -hmm. Wow, Makoto, you actually get it. <laughs> it's pretty straightforward. <laughs> you do get it, right? You totally get me. I do? Totally. Listen, maybe I can introduce you to some of my friends sometimes. So, what's your type? You're super passive, right? So, you need an aggressive girl. For real? Yeah, I think that'd be good for you. Someone who will go after you and not give up. N no, I don't really... Yeah. I'll find the perfect girl for you as soon as we get out of here. 
<laughs> oh, if you're as excited as I am. Junko seemed really excited as she walked away. I don't really get it, but I guess she likes hanging out with me. Junko's report card has been updated. My skill points has increased it. Increased it. Go back to the room. Ding dong, bing bong. You know what time that is. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. That's what they say. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. And okay yeah, we then. Know. You Sweet. say this every night. The third day here has already come to an end. When will I? No, we. When are we going to get out of here? I want to shoot truth bullets. I laid on my bed and stared blankly at the ceiling. And before I knew it, I'd fallen into an uneasy sleep. What the heck is that? I need an immediate fast acting pick me up. It's called cocaine. <laughs> If it doesn't act now, it's the same as giving in to regret. What do you think guides the world? Speed, of course. That's why speed. Formula One drivers are so popular. Oroku is gonna do speed. I'm gonna do speed in this video game. Any idiot can accomplish something if they take it slow. Even a human piece of excrement could create a masterpiece if they spent their entire life on it. Someone who does things in a timely fashion is both wise and admirable. Straight is better than a curve or an angle. Okay. Freestyle is better than the backstroke or breaststroke. This seems like a lot of opinions. Drive through is better than sit down. As a new comic artist is smarter than a graphic novelist. Okay. I don't know about this. Monokuma. Monokuma. It's coming at me. What I'm saying is, speed is the gold standard of the standard world. Which is why I said I need that pick me up. Meanwhile, a 0 0.00002 seconds later. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, Get nighttime's ready. over. Good Got it. Beautiful day. Got it. I woke up to the irritating sound of Monokuma's voice. I slowly pulled myself out of bed. Gah. Another night of restless sleep. I slept in my own piss again. <laughs> Another night of pissful sleep. How does this keep happening? Day after day, I can feel the piss piling up. As soon as the thought had crossed my mind. I pissed myself again. Ding dong. The sound of the doorbell forced its way into my room. Who's at the door? Bing bong. Hey. A fantastic morning, isn't it? T Taka? Hmm. Now then, if you'll pardon the interruption. Without waiting for a reply, Taka barged into my room. Hi. What's up, Taka? No matter how intensely the stormy seas may batter me, I will not fall as long as my feet are firmly planted. You agree, right? What? Um, I'm not sure I understand. Without a doubt. And if you can't do it alone, just find someone to support you and you can support them back. You hear me? That's how you can overcome any storm. I was thinking about it last night, and I decided we all need to really come together. And that was when I realized. Every morning from now on, after the morning announcement, everyone should have breakfast together. Okay. And that was the beginning of that fateful day. Please head to the dining hall at your earliest convenience. Got it. That's all for now. I have to go let everyone else know the good news. Taka didn't even wait for a reply. He turned and left before I could say a thing. Well, I guess I better head to the dining hall. What are you doing out here? Don't talk to her. She sucks. Um, Toko? What's your problem? What? Oh, I was just wondering what you were doing here. You should probably head to the dining hall, right? I, I, I know. I just need to prepare myself mentally. Prepare herself? What is she talking about? Uh, I'm just so nervous. She did a little smile, a little <laughs> sneaky smile. What's she so nervous about? Did she do a murder most foul? 
I'm gonna run a lap real quick. Get energized. Talk to Junko. What's up, Junko? Did you do a murder most foul? Hey! Makoto, can't any of you guys get a freaking clue? Huh? Are you for real? My mascara's totally clumpy. I don't want anyone to see me like this. I don't want anyone to see me this way. But Taka came and woke me up. What a dick. You look just the same as yesterday to me. How are you as if. It's like night and day. Sorry. Uh, seriously, need to reapply. There's nothing I can do about it now. You want to go see if Celeste can hook me up. And that's that. We've been imprisoned here, and that's what she's worried about right now? Women. <laughs> All right, let's go to the dining hall. All right. Let's go to the darning hall. Let's go to the danging hall. Hi, everybody. What's up, Taka? Listen to me. Okay, looks like everyone's here. So then, let's begin our very first breakfast meeting. Quiet down and listen. Everyone, thank you for making time in your busy schedules to come together. Give me a break. I didn't make time for shit. You dragged me here. Hmm. I know I already mentioned this earlier, but in order to get out of here, it's essential that we all cooperate with each other. And the first step is this breakfast meeting to allow us to become friends and build trust. So from now on, let's all meet here in the dining hall every morning after the morning announcement. Now then, let's eat. <laughs> you want me to eat breakfast with other people? I've never done that be before. I'm not sh sure. This is a spooky face. I mean, seriously? Yeah, it's been a while for me too. But more important. Well, anyway, did anyone happen to come up with any clues? Silence echoed through the dining hall. Seriously? Seriously? Nothing at all? Hey! Anything. It could be about how to get out or who's doing this. No one has anything? Are you okay with this? You are going to die. Huh? Huh? Do you understand? If you can't stop yourself from making a showing from showing weakness in front of others. You're making a showing weakness in front of others. Making a showing a weakness. You will die. Stop it! What the hell? Don't even freaking joke about that. <laughs> I am not joking. Adaptability and survivability. Did I not say so? So, you'd better hurry up and adapt to your new life here. What the hell is this? Have you gone completely insane? Adapt to my new life here? Do you have any idea what you're saying? What? Yeah, it sounds like what? the girl wants to live here. And hell, more power to her. But shit. Piece of shit! No way in hell am I living here. I'm getting out of here. I don't give a shit. <laughs> sure, feel free. Okay, so nobody has any clues. What the heck? One thing I could tell you is behind who's behind all this? Someone is totally weird and messed up. Got him. Who else would be trapped in here in the first place? Why else, Why else would we be trapped? Hey, listen. Well, sure, it could be something like that. But for right now, actual clues are... Uh, um... Well, one read for me. Huh? Huh? <laughs> What's up? Um... If you think in terms of people who are really abnormal or bizarre, do you think maybe the person responsible for all this could be a certain murderous fiend? Go on. A murderous fiend? Shihiro, do you have some idea who might be behind all this? Mm, well, maybe. I mean, I can't really be certain, but... Got it! Certainty is not a concern right now. I'll allow whatever remarks you may have. You know? Uh, okay, well... Have you guys heard of Genocide Jack? <laughs> genocide Jack? Jumpin' Jack Flash, it's Genocide Jack. You mean that serial killer that's been in the news and all over the internet? The monstrous villain who's murdered scores of victims in brutally bizarre fashion. The word bloodlust was left at each murder scene, written in the victim's own blood. Whoever it is, he's like a ghost. He strikes without warning and disappears without a trace. And on the internet, they started calling him <laughs> Genocide Jack. That about covers it, I think. I forgot about those dingoes. Yeah. They say he's claimed over a thousand victims. That's just an urban legend though, right? I mean, even like 10 people would be totally insane. Mm. Anyway, 
whoever Genocide Jack really is, he's obviously some kind of super crazy killer. Huh? And if he really is this ultimate psycho, I wouldn't be surprised if he put together something like this. But, but, uh, like I said, I can't be certain. I don't have any evidence or anything. It's just a thought. Hey, hold on. But if they're the killer, isn't that kind of like a killer? Isn't a, isn't a kind of a killer? Isn't that? If they're the killer, isn't that like a killer of a problem for us? <laughs> it's a map. <laughs> it's okay. Everything's absolutely, positively, 100%, without a doubt, going to be okay. Because help's going to be here soon. I'm sure of it. Huh? H help? Has, I mean... We've been stuck in here for a few days already, right? Nobody's been able to contact us, so I'm sure they're getting worried. I bet they called the police already. <laughs> the police? You're putting your faith in the police! Bastard. What are you doing here? You guys? You guys, seriously. Do you understand what role the police exist to fill? Not a good one, I'll tell you that much. All they're good for is being a foil. Playing against a villain or anti-hero or evil organization. The bad guys come along to destroy them. And that shows just how badass they really are. <laughs> are you sure you want to rely on such an unreliable group of losers? Yeah. I mean, come on. If you really, really want to get out of here, all you got to do is kill. <laughs> what the hell? Why the hell are you laughing? You know? I'm just impressed at the total commitment to this whole act. Come on. You're still going on about that? You're fucking dead. <laughs> so, Mr. Serial Killer Psycho Freak Bastard, what the hell do you want? Huh? Mr. Serial Killer Psycho Freak Bastard, huh? That's a pretty long name. German, maybe? Nice. Hey, come on. We know who you really are. Maybe if I ignore him, he'll just go away. You son of a bitch! Hey, don't ignore me, asshole! Hmm, okay, okay. Let's get back to business. Your life here has already begun, and a couple of days have gone by, and nobody's killing anybody. I thought all you kids were lazy and selfish, and here you are working together. But I'm totally bored. There's nothing you can say that'll make us start killing each other. I got Wait, it. I think... Yes! Ding, ding, ding! I figured it out! In other words... All the mystery ingredients are here. Right people, right place. So why hasn't anyone killed anyone yet? That's what I couldn't understand. But I just realized there's one very important piece missing. Well, what are you... If you want to know, I'll tell you. It's motive! <laughs> it's so simple. I just have to give everyone a motive. Stop fucking around. Motive? What the fuck are you talking about? Hey. Oh, um... by the way, there's something I want to show you guys. You son of a bitch. Stop changing the goddamn subject. Hmm. I have a little video I'd like you all to see. Ooh, <laughs> but don't worry. It's not some pervy adult video or anything. Seriously, it's nothing like that. I want to go no one asked if it was something like that. Did you want? Did you want the pervy video? <laughs> I, just, I, I, I do have one. Uh, I've seen one before. I've seen one. I've seen one on the internet. <laughs> it's a special video for each of you showing what's going on outside the school. Outside the school? What are you talking about? Hello. <laughs> oh, master's so impatient today. Why don't you watch it and find out? Hmm. Here in the school, there's a specific place you can go that has everything you need to watch the video. Correct. Good, then we can go watch the video right now. But before we do that, I'd like to know, what are you? Why would you do something like this? What do you want from us? Hmm? What do I want from you? Well, if you must know. That's all. Bonokuma well, love despair. If you want to know more than that, you'll have to figure it out yourselves. Hmm. And do whatever you need to uncover the mystery hidden within the school. I won't try and stop you. <laughs> because to be honest, 
It's entertaining as heck watching you guys search so desperately for answers. <laughs> so I guess I want amusement from you too. Uh, Goodbye. He's gone. And once again, he left before we could find out anything useful. Is that right? Really, I think we learned something very useful. He has a porn somewhere. <laughs> he has one whole porn somewhere. He has somewhere. one porn. He has no intention of standing in the way of our pursuit of the truth. Interesting. However. Perhaps. But what about the video he mentioned? I'm very curious to see what's going on. It That's true. What's on it. Same here. Okay, so. Mondo started glancing around the dining hall. But when his gaze landed on me, he stopped. Hell yeah. Hey, Makoto, check this out for us, would ya? Huh? Why me? Yo. Because you're closest to the door. That's the rule, right? R rule? Jesus hey, Christ. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 Piece of shit. hey! Hey! Stop fucking around. You see how passionately I'm begging you? What's the big deal? Just check it out real quick. Okay, I guess I'll get going then. Hell yeah. Awesome, thanks. I owe you one. Hey, um... If Makoto's going, I'm going with him. It's not safe to walk around this place alone. Yeah, you'll protect yeah. us. Yeah, sure thing. Then we're counting on the both of you. Oh, we have a visitor. If anything happens, just yell and I'll come running. Mondo. Um, I can't decide if Mondo is totally dependable or completely terrible. Yeah, I'd have to say he's kind of both. He's not exactly a bad person, but I definitely can't say he's a good person either. So then, what's a special place Fonakuma mentioned? Must be somewhere where you can watch DVDs, but come here. If it's a place set up to watch DVDs, then... The AV room. Right? Isn't there an AV room? Probably. Isn't that that big, like, VHS-looking symbol or cassette oh, symbol? Oh, yes. In the school. It's in the school. Joy, I'm patting my lap so many times. You're doing such big blinks. Come here. No, oh, I went the Come wrong here. way. Come here. Come here. Pop up. You know we're past time, right? Oh, yeah. This might be a good place to pause it then for next time. For next time. So we didn't actually get to the murder this time. <laughs> well, yeah. I thought for sure we would get to a murder this time, but we didn't. But we did get to talk to Sakura. We gave Junko a present. We gave Junko a present. So I think that's pretty good. Um, but we will play it again next week. Continue the story. I'm feeling pretty determined to play through the whole thing, so. Yeah. Tune in next week for the thrilling sequel of Danganronpa. Yeah! But for now, we're Dunzo Washington. Yep. Um, we're out of here. We'll... I think Droffy might have a bonus stream tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Droffy will have a bonus stream tomorrow. Um, and also, draw class being taught by Karina, if you are in those tiers. Yeah, if you're in the draw class tier. And up. That's going on on Friday at 3. I will send out the link to all the patrons. She's teaching animation. She was working on it all day today, so it's going to be flipping dope. It's going to be good. I'm excited to watch it. Also, uh, the draw cra crash from last week, last month. Draw crash? <laughs> the draw class from last month is going up on Drawfee Extra yes, this weekend. Yes, for everyone to watch. For everyone to watch this weekend. Um, so look forward to that if you're not in that tier and you missed it at the time. I taught how to draw faces and portraits and things using uh, uh, measurements. So It's good stuff. Um, reminder to check if you're registered to vote. Yeah. Please go vote if you can. Yep. Please, 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 please. It's really important. And that's it. That's it. We'll see you all next time. Yep. Bye, everybody. Bye.